So, in order to achieve this effect, we will be using only one animation, and that is the spin animation. We'll be using both clockwise and anti-clockwise. But to understand how this animation works, we have to use a clock to see. In a clock, the arrow would be moving along this axis and would be going all around. But the problem with this animation is it does not move along this axis it moves along the middle axis here so it looks like this it doesn't move so if you wanted to go all the way around one would have to take this and duplicate it and one would have to remove the shape outline and a shape fill and then group these two shapes and now we can add the animation and it would go around so it would move these two, since these two shapes have become one the axis would now be in the middle of these two shapes which is here so if I go back and I remove the shape outline, I put, let's see, black, we will see how it looks. See? There we go. That's how it works. But since we remove the outline, can't see it. It's the trick that we're going to use. So we have our feet here. So I'm going to duplicate it. And just put it on top. And then... I'm going to do the same thing I did before, remove the fill and remove the shape outline and group. I'm going to do that for this one as well. And we'll do the same thing for the hands as well. Good, so now that we have completed that first step, now it comes to the animation now how a human walks when this leg turns this way this one would go the opposite direction this one would go. it's the same thing and they all work together so when this leg goes forward this hand goes back when this leg goes back this hand goes forward And that's how the human walks. So, I'm going to animate these hands and feet individually before I attach them to the head. So, obviously, the human is walking from a sideways position. So, you'll get a side view of the character. I'm going to add the first animation spin. And that is a whole spin, so I'm just going to carry that to a quarter spin. And it's moving a bit slow, so I'll just carry it down to 50. And while that is happening, this will go the opposite direction. So just click that to counterclockwise and go back to quarter spin. Make sure it plays with previous and the same duration is 50. Right. And while that is happening, this hand will also be moving counterclockwise at a quarter spin with previous. So everything has to play together. So it's basically repetitive. This whole process is very repetitive. So do the same thing twice. So when one goes clockwise, the other goes anti-clockwise, and vice versa. So yeah, you have to do it in this order. You can't do all the leg animations and then all the hand animations. It will confuse you, so you have to do each animation for each one individually. So this next one, I'm going to add an animation. Same spin. And I'm going to bring it back counterclockwise. At a quarter spin again. It's the same thing.
but instead since this leg is coming back from being out here since it's coming back instead of letting it start I'm s letting it start with previous but I'm changing the delay to 50 there we go and do the same thing for each of the legs add animation spin quarter spin and you just repeat the steps just keep and that's basically the animations there you just keep adding more animations if you want the animation to go on but now I can line these up and there you have it it looks pretty decent that's the basis of the animation oh so yeah thanks for watching be sure to subscribe leave a comment and I will see you in the next video